Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today is time again for DAX Fridays. We are going to continue with the time intelligence functions and we are going to go through date diff. Okay, so let's begin without any delay. So here we are in Power BI and uh, what we have here is the North Wind data set. This is a data set provided by Microsoft. Uh, it is a fictional company and uh, the source is available for everybody through an old data feed. I have another video about it and uh, I have a link down below if you want to check it out. But um, let's look a little bit how the data looks like before we jump into DAX. We have uh, a few tables with products, customers and orders. And this is the one that we're going to look at today. We have in the order tables, this uh, takes care of all, or registers all the orders for the company. And it has three dates. It has order date, required date and ship date. And it's quite a common business case to check uh, the difference between the different dates just to see that we are performing uh, delivering, for example, at the time that the customer wants and we are not having any delays and this kind of stuff. So let's start by calculating the difference between the order date and the ship date. Okay, how often or how early our customers deliver and when do we ship? And we're going to use date diff. So before we start using it, let's go into Microsoft documentation and see what the diff is and what it does. So if you just Google date diff DAX, this is where you, the, the first uh, um, result, search result, it will be this. And uh, this is the documentation for the DAX functions for Microsoft. And here we have, they have an explanation. They say that date diff returns the count of interval boundaries crossed between two dates. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, what it is actually Div does is calculate the difference between two dates. Mm. Yeah, um, but what is useful here is actually uh, how it is constructed the function. So you have date diff, you have the start date, the first date that you want to compare it to. You have the end date, and then you have the interval. And for the interval, you have a few possibilities. You can calculate, for example, the difference between two dates in days weeks in years and it's very easy to change the interval so you will get the results that you like very quickly uh, now uh, this is quite a bummer actually uh, an error is returned if the start date is larger than the eight date I'm going to demonstrate that and also work around but Let's do a simple example first. So let's go back to DAX, uh, to Power BI. So here we are in Power BI again. And the first thing we're going to calculate is the difference between order date and ship date, mostly because I know it will not give us any problem. So we're going to add a new column. And we are going to call it diff order ship date for example and if you write diff that's the only diff there is in DAX so it will come up right away and then we said order date and then we said ship date right let's get that one and then we want to have it in days so it's as simple as that. So you just get the first date, the second date, and then how do you want it to count? Days, months, years. Enter. And here we have the difference. I think it will be a good thing to tell your users that it's actually days that they are seeing and no, not year or months. So now let's do another one. 
uh, we are going to calculate the difference between the required dates when the customer wants it and when we ship it. And that will give us, are we delivering things on time? It's a very common thing to do. So we do a new column. We write what we're going to do, requirement, require date, ship date in days. And then again, diff. And we are going to have require date. We want to compare it with order. No, ship date, sorry. Ship date. And we want to have it in days again. And look what happens. It says the start date cannot be greater than the end date. So this date cannot be bigger than that one, which is, uh, I don't know, it just makes the function perhaps not that useful anymore. The, because th that is basically what you want to capture in this case. So what do you do? Well, uh, there is a workaround to this problem. And it comes in the form of switch. Um, I have explained the switch before, so I will post links so you can watch that video in case you have missed it. But what we're going to do is I'm going to write the um, tax function first, and then we we'll explain what it does. So let's write it. We're going to write a switch, we said. True. Watch the video to know what this does. And then Alt Enter, so, because this is going to be a bit long uh, function, so we want to make sure that it's clear, that we can read it clearly. And now we're going to write, so this is basically saying if re the required date is smaller than the ship date, Then give us please a minus because that means that is late. And then we continue, Alt Enter. Now we said if the required date is bigger than the ship date. And this is where we had the problem, right? Then we cannot use date diff as this, but what we can do is actually change the order now here. Instead of having required date first, we have the ship date first. And then we write the required date. And then they. Otherwise, whatever, because there's no otherwise. We've covered all the cases. Okay. And so far, so good. So we check, we check, we check. We're looking for minus. Here we had. Where did it go? We had a minus. Mm, there, we have minus 7. Let's see. Oh, so annoying. What is our minus 7? Minus 16 there. So here we have a case where the ship date is actually bigger than the uh, required date. That means that we deliver too late and we deliver actually 16 days too late. So this is an easy way to actually do this type of calculations. Now the last thing, can I actually use uh, date div as a measure? Well, the answer is yes, but this is yes with the bat also. Let's go here. 
let's write a measure and we write our diff now you cannot have columns without anything else on a um, tax measure let me explain if i write here order you see nothing will come up it won't give me a possibility to add anything because none of these functions have um, a function together with it so not an aggregator or how to call it you, you have to have the sum of or you have to have the I don't know the count or something like that to, to be able to work you cannot have just um, a column into a measure it, it doesn't work so you can have they, they can use the div as a measure, but you will have to use uh, values or last date, perhaps, or something like that. So you have to have a function first in order to use it. So that will be, it depends on what you're actually trying to do. Um, so yeah this is it so if you want to calculate the difference between two dates date diff is a way to go remember the problem if your start date is bigger than your end date you will have troubles and you have to use switch okay great so this is uh, all for today if you enjoy the video please let me know by liking it if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.